So far, I've shown you only one place where you can put CSS styles, here in the style tag, usually in the head of your page. I have a little secret though. You can also put CSS styles directly on your HTML elements, and you don't have to use selectors at all. That's called inline styles. For example, I can use inline styles to make this heading be a salmon pink. To do that, I'll go inside the start tag and type style equals, so this is an HTML attribute, and inside these quotes, I'll put the CSS property value pair. So we're going to set the background and we're going to set it to salmon because that's a color in CSS, conveniently enough. And there you have a beautiful salmon background. If I want, I can apply multiple styles. I just need to make sure I've got that semicolon. Then I can write my next property value pair. Beautiful. So this is basically what you'd see inside a CSS rule, but without the new lines and without the selector, since it knows exactly which element it's going to put these styles on. It can be a little tricky to use inline styles at first because you have to have valid CSS syntax inside valid HTML syntax and keep track of which syntax is actually which and keep them correct. Now, when would you actually use inline styles? It's a very good question. Well, for me, I often use them when I'm first prototyping a web page, when I don't yet know what the structure of the page will be, and I want to quickly see what something will look like. Once I have more structure in my page, and I'm kind of more of an idea of where it's going, then I can figure out the best selectors and move my inline styles to CSS rules in my style tag. I also use inline styles when I'm writing HTML inside more restricted environments. Like if I'm writing HTML for an email marketing campaign or for a blog post. Plus, there are some websites that use inline styles for performance reasons, like google.com, because they think it's faster for the browser to display inline styles than to go through the effort to parse style sheets and then apply styles to elements. Most of the time for you, you should probably avoid inline styles in your final web page because they often lead to messier HTML with styles that are harder to reuse. They're a great tool for when you need them though, so add it to your toolbox.